This door looks like it's been blown off. First thing I want to find is a map. <laughs> what a pretty piece of art. There probably used to be a painting here. Only the explanation remains. Waterfront Landscape. Alan Smith. Scene of this area from long ago. From the style, it looks like it was done sometime around 1820. There were a lot fewer people then, and only a handful of buildings. There's something eerie about only the explanation being there and not the picture. Misty Day. Remains of the Judgment. Mm. It's him. Remains of the Judgment. Is that what Pyramid Head is? Judgment. Punishment. Photos hanging here. Wilts Coal Mine. Is that a map? I don't want to know what that was. Is this a map? No. Is that the ab abyss calling me? Nothing useful written on them. Photos hanging here. Brookhaven Hospital, 1880. This hospital was built in response to a great plague that followed a wave of immigration to this area. It was originally little more than a shack, but it gradually grew and grew. Photo of the director of the old Brookhaven Hospital. Looks like he was a famous person in town. There's a photo of a deep, deep hole. What could this be? I really want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Nope. It's been burned around the hole. Stairway to hell in the basement of the historic society. It does feel like that noise is calling for me? It's getting louder. Some kind of document is lying here. 
September 11th, 1820. Prisoner number C221. I can't read the rest. What is this? I still don't have a map. That always makes me feel so uncomfortable. Photos hanging here. Toluca Prison Camp. Built during the Civil War, later became Toluca Prison. It's funny. There's all this information from the Historic Society about prisons, but it also feels like this place is a prison itself. I mean, look at the bars. Death by skewering. An execution at the prison. Death by skewering or strangling. To choose his death as the prisoner's last taste of freedom. Crimson and white banquet for the gods. There's the hole we saw in that painting. The hole's dark and I can't see anything. <laughs> Will you jump down? Not yet. There's our leap into the abyss. case. That's so terrifying. Possible to climb this.
love what they do here. Making you imprisoned and desperate and seeming like there's no way out. Like why the hell did you jump into this hole? I think we have to look for a weakness in the wall though. Somewhere there must be something. said something. This is different. Just this spot here feels different than a normal wall. I wonder if I could somehow break it. me. I hear flies. Yeah, alright, this feels like a trap. Spiral writing key. I press the switch, but nothing happens. <laughs> the flashlight doesn't work anymore. Can I use the battery that I have? The dry cell? Oh, damn. It worked. Okay, well, it's still locked and there's bugs everywhere, so that's still... The light didn't help with that. Need a freaking passcode? Um, three of them look more worn than the others. Did I get it right? No. Okay, not that many combinations. that room. Are they still going to be in there? Yeah. Let's take a health drink. Hmm. 
Oh, this room is all fucked up. Twist your head. The light is on the ceiling, which is in front of us. Yeah, we're... Well, we're not upside down. We're just 90 degrees off of what this room is oriented to. There's a door at the bottom. The door is locked. Oh, right, we're standing on a door. I probably wouldn't want to unlock that, would I? Because then I would just fall? <laughs> Spiral writing key. Key with slim, three-inch long cylinder attached. Cylinder is engraved with spiral writing. It says, "'Tis doubt which leadeth thee to purgatory." They were nice enough to put me on the other side. Good. Doubt leads me to purgatory, so don't doubt. Just go. I'll do it, but... There's some other places to explore first. that's it. It's pitch black beyond the door. Can't tell how far the blackness stretches. Will you go down deeper and deeper? Think of how deep we went down the historical society. And then we jumped down the hole into the well. And now we jump down this. We must be at the center of the damn earth by now. Killing a person ain't no big deal. Just put the gun to their head, pow. You, you killed him? But, but, but it wasn't my fault. He, he made me do it. Calm down, Eddie. Tell me what happened. That guy, he, he had it coming. I didn't do anything. He just came after me. Besides, he was making fun of me with his eyes, like that other one. Just for that, you killed him? What do you mean, just for that? Eddie, you can't just kill someone because of the way they looked at you. Oh yeah? Why not? Till now, I always let people walk all over me. Just like that stupid dog. He had it coming too. Eddie? <laughs> I was just joking, James. He was dead when I got here, honest. Anyway, I gotta run. You're going out there alone? Yeah. Eddie! All right, Eddie. <laughs> the way Eddie said, yeah. When James said, are you going out there alone? Yeah. No trepidation at all. If anything, they're excited. It's a corpse. The body is marked with bullet holes. It's like the looks like the prison mess hall.
Tablet of Gluttonous Pig. The pictures of this room. Tablet with gluttonous pig drawn on one side. Guess we're following after Eddie. Wonder what's gonna happen when we meet them again. Tempted to shoot them just so it's not so damn loud in here. I don't know. Let's get in and get out. Wax doll. Books are scattered all over the bed and floor. Black magic from the abyss. Resurrection of the Dead, The Chronicle of Agrippa, Manuscript of the Iron Rings. I guess I shouldn't worry about these too much. Oh yeah, they got ceremonial candles and drawings all over the place. They were experimenting. God, if anything, it's even louder in here. from wax it was lying in the cell doesn't look like much of a doll really I don't know if I should heal I guess I hate that I have no map. I don't know where I've been. I don't know where I'm going. What is this? I hate this. I swear I heard something a second ago. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is probably where the plates go. I give you blood to atone for the three sins. Is written on top of the painting. Three square depressions. Yep. Oof. 
That sounded real painful. Hmm. <laughs> and there's three nooses. Sounds like something's, I don't know, running around underground, around the walls. I don't know. I'm leaving. I love the intense quietness of this place. It's just the sound of an entity in dripping water. It's interesting that the monsters, some of them anyway, are in prison. trying to think of what that means. Maybe the prison turned them into monsters. of the oppressor. Magazines here. Nothing of particular interest. The iron bar door is tightly closed. I can't force it open. How do I get out? What? Oh. scary. <laughs> Just didn't work for a little bit. Where is that voice coming from? Place is a place of pain. That's what prison is. A place of oppression and dehumanization. It's a visitation window. There's a lighter on the other side. Ah. Where am I now? break room. There's a magazine here. I've never seen it before. It's probably a locally published magazine. 
Toluca Lake, the town's main tourist attraction. This clear, beautiful lake has another side as well. It may seem like just a typical ghost story that you might find in any number of old towns across the country, but in this case, the legend is true. On a fog-bound November day in 1918, the Little Baroness, a ship filled with tourists, failed to return to port. A newspaper article from back then simply says, it most likely sank for some reason. Despite an extensive police search, not a single fragment of the ship nor any of the 14 bodies of passengers or crew has ever been recovered to this day. In 1939, an even stranger incident occurred. There are many pages torn out. Many corpses rest at the bottom of this lake. Their bony hands reach up towards the boats that pass overhead. Perhaps they reach for their comrades. Hunting rifle. What's our ammo situation? We have over a hundred shots for the pistol, over a hundred shots for the shotgun, and twenty eight for the rifle. on the ground, but I can't open it. There's only a depression left where there was probably once a handle. on the door, but there's no answer. Mm. This scared the shit out of me. This is the other side, the lighter.
I don't think I'm ever going to get a map of this area, am I? Metal lighter. Looks like its flame is stronger than normal lighters. Oops, oh, I meant to examine, but there's no examine. Well, I've seen this puzzle before, and I believe it has something to do with melting the wax and putting it into the depression. I think I might be missing a component, though. I don't think that alone is going to give me a handle. I think I need something else. There's no point in just melting the wax. Yeah. Something we're missing. And this place is so damn hard to navigate. Oh yeah, we've been here before. A map! Thank God. documents on the desk. They've got nothing to do with me, though. Okay. The circle there, that must be the hatch? Yeah. It's a safe point. Been to most... Places. I didn't I didn't try every cell up here. I should do that. This is the big room. Yeah, I should try more cells. And also see if either of these rooms work. Okay, this one led to something really big. Yeah, this is a whole thing. These are extraordinarily small cells. Are these solitary confinement cells? Tablet. 
of the seductress. That's all the tablets I need. There's one door I didn't try. Oh, so dirty. It looks like it's the color of the wall. Well, I think I have everything I need. I don't think I need to try every jail cell. But I'm going to anyway. Because I'm me. Heading to the big room. Already been in there? Six people at a recital. This seems important. Oh, there's more, too. A burning mansion, hospital, prison, burning man. Okay, I changed my mind. I want to check out the other jail cells, too. Oh, I never checked this door. stained clothes here. Okay. Yeah, that's all of them. Scared. I'm gonna switch to my shotgun. Actually, rifle. I 
don't know if it matters where I put them. I hope not. Oops. Sounds like somebody was just executed. Three ropes hanging from the scaffold. Did nothing change? Just a scream. Oof. so good. This place is so disturbing. I was expecting a boss fight, and then there's a shrill scream, and then no body, and then there's just a horseshoe, just on the door. There's so much buildup. So the horseshoe must be the third component we need to make the handle, I think. Is that what we've been hearing then? That sound going around that area? Is that a horse? I could I could see that being a horse. Mm, let's see. Gotta go through some jail cells again to get back over to the other side, unfortunately. That would not work at all. It looks good, but the key problem there is that wax is really quite weak. Unless that door weighs, I don't know, 20 grams or something and it's made out of styrofoam, that handle would rip right out. Deeper, deeper, deeper.
No map of this area. Oh no. Basement first floor. bad. Don't have a map of this area. Yeah, I don't... Hold on. I don't even think this place was marked on the map. Is this door even on the map? Well, I mean, it is now. I don't... I feel like it wasn't before, though. <laughs> oh, it's just a disturbing morgue. Obviously, the bodies aren't frozen anymore. Probably stinks like hell. Also, some of these cubbies have, well, that one right there in the center has two people stuffed in there. This one, just to the left of that, has three people stuffed in there, judging by the amount of feet. A horrible smell is coming from the hole. Yeah, I bet. Blood streaks all over the ground, like from wheels, from gurneys, probably, streaking the blood around. Corpse smells nauseatingly of rotten flesh. Are we going down again already? This corpse into this hole? I guess that's where the corpses go. Can't see the bottom. How far does this thing go? Mmm. to drop through it. Okay. I think I'm locked in here. Oh, it's moving without me doing anything. Uh, I feel like I'm going to be fighting something.
Huh.